What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video we're doing something different, something a little bit fun and that is we're going to be modeling the new PlayStation 5 in Revit. We're going to be creating a building that looks like PlayStation 5. I'm not a gamer myself but I do appreciate good design and I like the shape of the new PlayStation 5 so I thought why not create a video on that, how to model that in Revit. Now, if you would like to learn more about how to model complex shapes in Revit, uh, how to use uh, massing in Revit to create these shapes, well, I have a an entire course on that, on the Revit massing environment and conceptual design in Revit. It's available on my website, balkanarctic.com, and that's going to be the first link just below the video in the description. So check it out if you're interested. I have many courses ranging from beginner to intermediate as well as advanced level topics so if you're interested check it out also if you would like all of my Revit project files I like this file that we're creating today as well as all of my other Revit project files all of those are available on my patreon page that's going to be the second link just below the video so check it out also make sure to subscribe like and share this video it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and without any further ado let's get straight into Revit and here we are in Revit. Uh, now let's get started immediately by going here to models and then going to new. Uh, and here for the template file, I'm going to choose just the custom Balkan Arctic template, the metric version. If you're interested in getting my templates, uh, you can find both the metric as well as imperial versions on my website. Uh, so I'm just going to leave that link uh, as the third link in the description. And let's just click OK and start Revit right up. Uh, now, as soon as Revit starts up here, I have found this uh, just a 3D model. It's available for sale on some website where I guess you can buy 3D models. But anyways, uh, I, I thought it was a, a good, easy way to visualize what this PlayStation 5 looks like. And this is the model that we have to generate. Now, obviously, we're going to be using the massing environment for this. Uh, so let's get started by, let's just move this out of the way for a moment and then let's go here to massing and site. Uh, go to show mass to turn that on because you want to be able to see what you're modeling and then go to in place mass. Uh, now we can call it, let's call it the PlayStation 5 and then click OK. Okay, so once we're here, uh, let's get started. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is to determine how how tall uh, this PlayStation is going to be. Now, because I want to model it as sort of a building, uh, let's then go here to the south elevation. As you can see here, we have that level one, and I'm just going to go here to reference plane and just use that as a level and just place it somewhere like this. So let's hold it or let's select it. Uh, change the witness line down to level one and let's set this to 30 meters. Okay, there we go. We have that at 30 meters and let's call this one top. Okay, uh, next let's go again to reference plane. RP is the shortcut and let's place it here in the middle just like that. Uh, select it, go here and set this to 15 meters from the top making it 15 from the bottom as well and then you want to name this one middle okay so once you have both of these reference place reference planes in place what I like to do next is I like to create a shape just to determine the proportions of my building so uh, as you can see here if I take this you can see that this has certain proportions so it looks sort of like it's a little bit taller than it is wide and then the width you can see that and so on so I like to replicate this with just a simple box so what I like to do is go here into level one go to the rectangle tool and just create a simple rectangle like this perhaps five meters wide and then I don't know 22 meters long hit the escape key a couple of times uh, go to the uh, default 3d view here in the quick access toolbar and this is what we have. Now let's just select that and go here to create form and we can extend that a little bit. Actually let's go to south elevation and extend that all the way to the top. Go back to 3D. Okay I feel like this is sort of has the proportions of the PlayStation so if I place them like this side by side yeah, that looks similar enough. I, I don't think it's I think it's it's good enough I guess you can say so perhaps we can select this side and extend it just a little bit further out 
and the width can I guess the width can be a little larger so I'm just using the tab key to select this side there we go I think this kind of mimics that those proportions fairly good yeah I think that's it okay anyways let's now move this out of the way and we have this box to kind of start off with we're going to be deleting it later on but for now let's just leave it there uh, next let's move to level one and then let's start from the bottom so you want to just take a look at this image and as you can see uh, when you take a look at it like this it's kind of uh, narrower on the bottom then the narrowest part is here around like the the waist the middle the, the middle line and then it expands on top so you basically want to follow that so let's move this out of the way and then let's go here to the uh, start and the radius arc and I'm just going to uh, okay before I do that let me just add a reference plane so just here reference plane RP and just do one middle reference plane like this because it's going to help us out a lot okay so once we have this reference plane let's go now so uh, let's go here to the arc tool start off somewhere like this go straight down and then go out like that hit the escape key a couple of times now you may not see it so you have to turn the visibility graphics to wireframe there we go so we want to have this uh, next you want to select it go here to the mirror uh, pick access option and just mirror it around the center there we go next you want to move to the site plan and now you want to go again to model uh, arc uh, but now make sure that your uh, draw on work plane is selected and make sure that your placement plane has been changed to middle and also in order to see this maybe change this to wireframe as well okay we don't see wireframe okay so this is annoying let's finish out of this mass okay here we're in the site plan and we just have to uh, change the view template to none apply okay there we go okay we're done we can select this and go back to edit in place there we go and now set this to wireframe perfect again let's go to model let's go to arc Make sure that the drawn work plane is selected. Make sure that the reference plane is middle. And then, as we said, we want to go just a little bit towards the inside, just like this. And then just follow that same shape. Escape key a couple of times, select this, and then go to mirror with the pick access function, mirror it around the center. Perfect. And then finally, let's go again to the arc tool, uh, go to drawn work plane, go to top make sure the 3d snapping is turned off and then you want to go here to the outside a little bit go all the way to here give it that arc shape select this mirror center axis perfect now if I go to the 3d view this is what we have so I'm just going to hover over one of the edges of this box that we have created hit the tab key once in order to highlight it and then select and then just hit delete uh, now what we can do is just select one side like this and go to create form select the other side create form and there we go we have something that looks like that PlayStation but we only have kind of the the beginning of this shape so we've only kind of started off so uh, let's now continue with the part in the middle so uh, and also just looking at it you may want to select one side and then just move it a little bit towards the outside like that let's then go to the 3d view select the other side and just a little bit towards the outside just to move them apart a little bit there we go I think it looks a little bit better perfect okay so once we have this created let's go back to level one uh, back to the arc tool and then for this arc tool you want to go here into and let me just uh, bring this back so you want to now model this middle part so again it just has a little offset from uh, the kind of the outer shell so if we just bring that back set the work plane uh, to uh, drawn work plane set it this to level one 3d snapping turned off and then you can just go from here just like that uh, to this side and then just give it a little arc shape and actually I'm just going to select this and move it towards the inside a little bit there we go just like that next you want to select that mirror and then around the center axis and you just want to use the line tool to kind of close this off front 
and back. And also just judging from this image here, it looks like it's on the inside a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just use the tab key to select the side and move it towards the inside a little bit. And then this one as well. Perfect. Okay, let's now move to the site plan. Uh, let's again go here to, let's see, uh, model line. Uh, then let's set this one to middle, drawn work plane, 3D snapping turned off. And then let's go from here up to here. Oops, that should have been an arc. So again, let's go with an arc. From here down to there. Just like that. Hit this escape key a couple of times, maybe bring it in a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit too much towards the inside. Let me go back. Okay, I, I think it can stay like that. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Anyways, uh, let us now select this mirror, just like that. And then we can go to the 3D view and just use the regular lines, set this to middle, and then just close these off here and there. Perfect. And then finally for the top, let's go to the uh, site plan. Uh, and next on the site plan, you want to go to the uh, arc tool, set work plane to drawn work plane, and then set this to top. And then here you just want to go a little bit towards the outside. Like that. And like so. You want to then select that line, mirror, around the center axis, there we go, go to the 3D view, perfect. So again, you just want to close that off, so just make sure to set this to top, drawn work plane, 3D snapping turned off. And then you close this off like that, and here as well, the escape key, perfect. Okay, now you want to select this, hold the control key, and then add these two to selection, go to create form, and this is what we have. Uh, now it's just a question of carving it out to make it look nice. So what you want to do next is uh, simply go to one of the elevations like this. But let's actually go back into level one. Call this one the, I don't know, the center. Okay, so now when we go to the west elevation, uh, we can uh, go here to model and then set this by name to that center reference plane. Okay, uh, now let's uh, move on and just carve out the shape that we want. So what I'm going to do is just switch this to hidden line. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is uh, just go here to the line tool and perhaps follow the edge here just like that. And then towards the outside, switch to the arc just like this. And this is what I'm looking for. Uh, and next, we can just use the trim and extend to corner just to fix this up. There we go. And I'm finally going to just select this and then move it here into position. And just to be clear, just to make sure that it's going to cut properly, I'm just going to move it out just a little bit like that. Uh, next, let's select that and then uh, let's mirror it to the other side. So I'm just going to use the draw axis mirror find the center line, just like that, zoom in, looks correct, go to the 3D view, perfect. So you want to select one of these, go to create form, go to void form, and then you can extrude it out, just like this, go to the other side, you hit the tab key a few times until you select that shape, and then you again have to, have to hit the tab key a couple of times to select that angle, and there we go, it's cutting it out like this. Same thing goes on the other side, so you select this, you go to create form, uh, well, actually, this should be a void form, so let's select it and change it here from a solid to a void. Perfect, and then we can select that shape again. Again, the tab kick a few times until you get this edge and extend that. And if it's cutting the kind of the, uh, the this outside shell, uh, you can simply go here to cut the geometry, open up the uh, drop menu, go to uncut geometry, then select this and then the void, and there we go. And finally, let's just fill it these edges here. So you can do that the same way simply by going here to West Elevation. Uh, you go here to Line. There we go. And then you just follow the edge 
just like this and like that switch here to the arc tool there we go looks perfect again just nudge it into position perfect you select that you go to mirror draw access find that mirror uh, center line there we go and then let's just use the arrow keys just to get it a bit closer in perfect and now let's zoom out like this you select it create form void form and then you can extend it like this go to the other side hit the tab key a few times to select the edge okay here we go extend and then to cut uh, you simply go here to cut geometry you select uh, you make sure that multiple cut is checked on you select the void first and then you just select these two shapes there we go perfect and the same thing just repeat on the other side so create form void extend other side extend cut the geometry multiple cut first the void then the two sides and there we go perfect so here we have something that looks like that playstation form uh, now of course you can continue working on this you can add that little uh, edge here uh, that's kind of uh, going outside of the this entire shape i just like it like this i think it's clean and nice so i'm just going to hit finish uh, mass here uh, let's cancel out of this there we go perfect and then we can start applying geometry to this so you can go here to massing in sight you can go to wall uh, let's use a smaller wall here 200 millimeter we can select these two there we go this looks cool uh, finish face exterior let's try interior there we go much better and this one Let's see, no, we want the, the, the previous one. There we go. Okay, it actually would make sense if I were just to select these walls to actually make them the 400 millimeters type. There we go, that looks nice. And then also we can, the, the kind of the inner shape, you can add some uh, something to that, or you can simply select the mask, go to edit in place, and then you can just hit the tab key to select that form. And here we can apply some uh, dark material. Let's see here. Let's search for something black. There we go. And that would look like this. So this does look really cool. So there we go. We have the PlayStation form in Revit. Of course, as I said, you can continue working on this, add a bit more detail. And if you do, please share it with me uh, on Facebook or Instagram, and I can tag you in the post or something. Uh, so there we go. It was a little bit different, but I think it's a fun tutorial, and we kind of covered the, the massing, which is quite important. So if you want to get this project file, you can find that on my Patreon page. That's the second link in the description. And the first link in the description takes you to my website. As I said, I have an entire course on uh, massing in Revit, so check it out if you're interested. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video, and I'll be back in a couple of days with another Balkan Arctic tutorial. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.